Hey guys, welcome back to the Doc Project 365, episode 671. Today what we're doing is talking about the most distinguishing difference that we see uh, in the strict muscle up versus the kipping muscle up. Now, uh, just a quick review here. When we first started doing muscle ups in the CrossFit community, the functional fitness community, the false grip was almost like that necessity. That's what helped you learn that, uh, that movement and we started with the false grip. But little by little, it has disappeared as kipping muscle ups have kind of taken the way in the functional fitness community. We, we don't even see that anymore. In fact, a lot of times we see people lose uh, the false grip altogether and their wrist falls down below the ring, much like they'd be doing a pull-up, and uh, they don't even get to the point where they turn the rings out and then supinate them back in for when they're going ahead and, uh, and lifting up, because it just turns into this, this uh, neutral type grip, right, where you see people come here and then they, and then they go through the movement uh, with, their, with the rings all the time facing out or parallel to them, right? Well. That can't happen when we go into uh, a strict muscle up. And that's the thing that's the hardest for people to come back. Generally, when they can no longer do strict muscle ups, it's because they lose their ability to do their false grip. And uh, we kind of got lackadaisical, basically, is what I'm saying, over the last year or two years, as kipping muscle ups have kind of uh, taken, um, what would you say, take, taken place of all muscle ups, right? This is, the first, this is the first time that we're going to see uh, strict movement or strict muscle ups in the CrossFit regionals, right? So now all of a sudden everybody's running out and they're trying to relearn how to do those strict muscle ups. So the first thing that we're going to do is revisit getting a false grip. If we can revisit getting a false grip, I think we'll be on well, well on our way, especially for those regional competitors out there to, uh, to start doing those muscle ups again, okay? So when we review the, the um, uh, false grip, and you could see, even like when I was practicing, messing around here in the gym, uh, that's like this, this hypothenar uh, region right here, or this, this meat pad, that's where that, that sucker's gotta sit. Now, basically what you're doing is you're holding on to the ring with the crook of your hand, not your fingers themselves, the crook of your hand. However, the crook of your hand, so as we lay our arms across, our, our, our palm across, I'm sure you guys have all seen this setup, right? Uh, you make that little that little flexion crook right there. You put the ring right in that, and that's the way that that ring kind of holds. And then you're going to go ahead and wrap around. Now, here's the one little caveat that I hopefully might be able to uh, to give you guys is that if you can wrap your thumb around to your first finger, right, that helps keep that as you put weight there. If I wrap my arm around, I get that. I wrap my finger around so that my thumb could touch my first finger, like such. That helps us keep that crook, that crook of uh, our wrist flexion in that position, right? Because what happens here is if we slide to this position, there is no way that we can get up and over those rings, right? Because we can't turn from here. You have to be here to be able to turn that ring out. And that's the thing that changes so much. So what we're gonna do for today, what we're gonna practice for today is body weight or less. In this case, I'm doing it with less because I'm, sta I'm standing on ground, but you could do this all the way up to body weight. Uh, false grip holds, okay? So we're gonna take our false grip, wrap our hand all the way around, right? Try to get the thumb over top of the forefinger here, right? And we're just gonna hang out in this position. We're gonna try to hold this position for 10 seconds, okay? Let that go, and we're gonna start anew. As you build up, right? You can come back up and you can go to a fully bo full, full body weight hold, okay? In that case, you're gonna do the same exact thing, right? We're gonna find that crook and the wrist comes up and over, right? Call them all the way over, thumb grabs and uh, wraps over the, the forefinger. We're gonna hang out in this position, 10 seconds, and come on back down. We need to revisit and re-strengthen, right? Revisit and re-strengthen uh, the false grip if we're going to get our strict muscle-ups in time for regionals. Guys, I hope this helps you out. And until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.